Hi guys, uh, as some of you may know, I just came back from my 43 LAN where for the first time I scoped for a team, or a mix even. Firstly, I probably had the most fun I've ever had in game for an extremely long time. Uh, it's kind of like I've started the game again and I've got so much to improve and learn with the scope. Also to prove to myself and others that I can play well with it, uh, which doesn't feel like the case with the SMG, so it's pre become pretty tedious and boring. But anyway, on topic of the video, I basically just opened up one of my demos from the LAN, which is against Figo. This was probably our most important game in the group stages. Um, I recorded some random rounds, and I'm just going to commentate on what I'm doing and try and explain why. I haven't only recorded the good rounds because I didn't choose any specifically, so anything I do wrong, which is bound to happen, I'll try and explain why and if there's a reason um, what I should have done instead. Also, I recorded it using the config I played with at the LAN because people asked to be able to see the compass the last time I did a video like this. But all my team have died and now I'm in a 1 versus 2 as my teammate has just died from somebody rushing the B street into the B bomb. I know one's near Overlook area as well and I realise if I stand around to the palm tree in Bin's area, the guy in the B bomb is just going to go to the spawn house and I'm probably going to be stuck. So I try and sneak around front A to get a surprise kill on the guy near Overlook. Luckily for me, he's just crouching through the street and I get the kill onto him. Even better, he had the bomb, so now it's dropped in the street, so I quickly make my way up to the best vantage point to cover the bomb, as I know the other guy has to either collect the bomb or kill me, and if he doesn't kill me, the chances are he won't have enough time to plant anyway, so I basically just waste his time, and then when I know 100% he doesn't have enough time to collect the bomb, or even get to me, um, I just hide. As all scopes do, I run to watch one of the crosses on the map, and this time I choose to jump on the stairs and try and kill people crossing into A. There was a gap in the smoke, so I do get one who was trying to rush straight to the A statue. I then really just walk into spawn house and see if I can see anyone walking through the street. But I do see that one of my teammates has died at B, so I make my way over there. Once at the entrance of B, the enemy was pretty loud jumping around, so it's not really hard to know where he is. I'm pretty cautious though after that, I pick up an AK and I'm thinking there could be another player around the B area. But after checking a little bit, it's called on TeamSpeak that the enemies are both at A side, so I quickly make my way to A and rotate. When rotating to A, I make my way to the palm trees and not front A, because I've called on TeamSpeak that my teammates should go to front A while I watch the cross to the bomb so we can lock the guy on the statue. Once there, I realise I still have a nade left, so I randomly throw it in the air and fortunately it lands right next to him. This time off spawn I try and watch the B cross as I'm trying to predict that they could rush B because A wasn't working last time. But as I expected it's completely smoked. So I make my way into the spawn house to see if I can spot anybody on the map. But after a couple of calls and realising that two of my teammates have died at A, it's clearly an A push and A is completely open. So I drop down to the palm trees to try and watch the A cross and see if I can see anybody coming out of CAF but again the cross is smoked. So I'm in a really tough situation but I do see one at the B car so I throw a grenade at him and now I'm stuck in a 1 versus 5. After killing 3 people very quickly I make my way into the statue and sneak around to see another guy standing there looking at the bins for me but I've already moved. The last guy I know was around the B area so I turn around and try and look at bins to see if he was coming behind me, which he wasn't so I make my way around Overlook and eventually I do spot him in the middle of the street and we have a little 1 versus 1. After that round I'm pumped up and ready to shoot some people. I get on the stairs and miss an easy shot but I can call that two SMGs are pushing calf so I quickly get there at the palm tree. After getting a nice shot on the first person and taking out the second I make my way into the statue because I'm an aggressive player and I deagle another who's also pushing into front A. Moving over to the attack side now, I push CAF fast to try and get somebody who's rushing into A, like I showed in my tutorial on the strike before. I don't actually see a guy, but I shoot the smoke and luckily tag somebody. 
After this, I wait for someone to push me, but they don't, so I make my way to the bottom overlook and then try and get into the street to help my team in A, but three of my team have died. They should have been watching the street, but for some reason they weren't. The guy jumps from garage and I take him out quickly with the deagle, and then progress the B side, trying to stop people rotating from A. I do kill one in the B alley and then get tagged from behind and start having a spaz attack, so hopefully not get hit. I took a grenade and firstly was going to throw it at the bins area, but decide otherwise and throw it in the street near where the bomb is. They should have really just been guarding the bomb, but for some reason they push us, so I get a kill in the street. I thought the last person would come from bins, but I get tagged in the back, so I turn around and kill him. Off the spawn it's been called that we should do an A rush so I throw both a grenade and smoke into the street and then eventually I cross the road and try and watch if anyone's pushing the street but of course the street's going to be completely smoked so I can't see anything. I then make my way to Cap because my teammates are already in A so I plan to watch the bins and statue, um, palm tree rather. I do see one on the palm tree and I'm sure I shot him but I didn't kill him or even tag him. But my teammate gets killed on the statue and then my team are pretty much doing all the work. My teammate is crossing the bomb to plant but gets shot and then I see the sniper jump out of the spawn house and kill him in midair. We only have one round left to win technically because of 13 rounds but in groups that lands all rounds are played because of round difference in groups. We're pretty much doing some kind of split push, uh, most of us are A but one of us did go to B but got naded by our own team. I get up into Overlook to try and spot people but most of my team are now dying. I do miss a couple of shots and it does end up that we're in a 2 versus 4 situation. So I do make my way down and I try to replicate what I did the round before where I moved across front A and then killed one at Garage and then make my way to B but there seems to be no one around the street area again but they should have been watching the street but they weren't. My teammate's already made his way all the way around here and into bins behind him and after deagling one I make my way into the spawn house because I know that if one of them is in the spawn house it's going to be trying to kill my going to be trying to kill my teammate. Once in there I do miss a couple of easy deagle shots and we have a little knife battle <laughs> I get lucky and knife him. I jump out or I mantle out I should have jumped I probably wouldn't have died if I jumped but I mantled by accident and we do lose the round. As usual I've spawned there, make my way to the spawn square, this time nading A. I then jump into the street again, and this time it's not so smoked and I tag one jumping over the spawn wall who would have rushed B. He then becomes some kind of advanced magician and completely disappears. Two of my team have already died, one from a sniper and one from a car exploding. I jump and try and see if one's outside watching Kath. One of my teammates are already in A somehow, so we make our way in and I try and watch the cross uh, at the palm tree and bins again, but I start failing miserably. Once on there, I don't actually see anybody, so I'm kind of wondering where the enemy team are. I smoke the cross, and one of my teammates does plant the bomb, but we are in a 2 versus 5. I try and scout the area to see if I could get a couple of kills unexpectedly, but once I'm spotted, I'm pretty much dead, and I do get shot in the back. I should have known one was coming behind me, especially since there was 5 alive, and they would have pretty much just come from every direction to make sure no one was hiding anywhere. This time it's decided that we're going to do a B push, but I mentioned that I'm going to stay on the A side and try and get picks on the rotates. I throw a grenade to the spawn par or palm tree. I pretty much rotate my nades all the time, just doing the same one at the same time and isn't going to get anything. Once in the street it is completely smoked, but I plan to be aggressive and push down the street and into statue, and I do see one at the B bins but completely miss him. But after calling where he is, my team does kill him. The last one is back spawn and I do completely miss him as well, but I do get one tag. After a little firefight, I don't actually kill him here and then rotate all the way back to spawn because the only way he can go is into spawn house or to back spawn. Luckily he does come to back spawn and I pick up an SMG and kill him. I 
You're never going to guess where I'm going to be going at the start of the round. Yes, that is correct. Spawn square. This is where I try and see if anyone's on the jump, but I can't see anything because it's completely smoked. So I make my way through the street and then up to Overlook to try and scout the area and the street again for my team. And I do see an AK at B Bins who's spraying the street. I then scout some mid shops to check for my teammate. And then after having a little look around in A, I make my way down and start being aggressive again on A to try and push into A. I do throw a random grenade and then I pick up the bomb in an AK and make my way over to garage and then get on the garage car. I then get some ridiculous unscoped spray kill because the reg on LAN is unbelievable compared to online. It's like a different game. I plan to plant the bomb but I want to check the palm tree so I drop the bomb. I then jump on the bin and check the palm tree. Turn around, go to plant the bomb but one shoots me from calf. After killing him I make my way onto the bomb and plant the bomb. But a sniper is sneaking in and it's called by my team so I come up and kill him. I get enough spawn and decide to throw a grenade to the palm trees. I then go over spawn square, check the street, and then make my way into overlook and check the area again, as seen all the time now. This time, once I'm in overlook, I do see one at the statue. I saw his head, but he doesn't make himself seen again, and he must be just prone in there, but I think my teammate takes him out. He then wants to cross the, the A bomb, so I smoke the cross for him, but he must have not waited till the smoke was completely up, because once he does peek to cross, he gets shot by an AK. I make my way into A, But then my teammate gets shot in the back and the bomb is at spawn. I'm in a 1 vs 2 and I do see one at the car so I jump on the bin and shoot him but it doesn't hit. I then am in a pretty bad situation but I do luckily get the kill on him and then make my way back into A. As aggressive as I am because I play like SMG I pretty much just run around like an SMG and I do get the kill with him on the deagle. Hopefully you found this video somewhat entertaining like the other one I did. Um, in the description there's a download link to all my demos from the i43 LAN. Uh, see you all later.